All right, all right, folks. Hey, here we go. Samuel Venga Sami, Jim Boy Sami here. Yes. Today I want to show you. I want to show you, folks. I want to show you how to to uh, fold a paper. And when you fold up a paper, it becomes. You could make. It's good for kids. You could make a boat. Um, a real boat. Uh, when I say real boat, you could make an imitation boat. Put it in water, and this piece of paper will sail like a boat have the shape of a boat I'll show you how to do that right now very easy um, a little trills in, involved inside but you could do it if I could do it you could do it this is the paper here all right this is the paper here folks now you're gonna hold put it uh, you're gonna put it diagonally straight ways and fold it in half when you fold this in half it's gonna be like this Make sure you have an even half folded. Okay, you have an even half folded here. Yeah, use two hands. It's a two hands process job. Now you fold this paper in two halves. Once you fold it, the opening you keep towards, um, actually towards you. And you're gonna bend back the folded part. You're gonna fold one end, try to do it as equal as, as possible. And then you're gonna fold the other. You're gonna lap it. You're gonna make like a butterfly lap. Okay, many of you know this. When you grab your powder milk, you make a butterfly lap. Now, folks, you're gonna be doing this process over about two, three times. In other words, to to get the, that uh, effect of a boat. Now you're gonna fold back. If you open both sides here, when you fold, you see what I did. Fold these two laps here. You're you actually making flaps from the folded side. The unfolded side, you're gonna turn it now evenly towards the edge of the flaps backwards. One, and then you're gonna turn it over to get the other side done. Fold it back. It's a nice process where you have fun doing it. Okay, now you fold it, this is, is now Many people, they use it like a hat. You can put it on your head. Uh, make believe it's a hat, but no. You want it to look for a boat, the shape of a boat. So what you're gonna do now is make sure you fold in these edges just to have a neatness of the edges. And um, you wanna do it with pride also. Anything you do, folks, trust me. Try to do it with a little bit of pride. You will succeed. Uh, now you do this, bam, bam. You fold this back one more time. Fold it, lap it up of each other. You, you fold it the opposite way now. You're double crossing this paper. Now you're gonna fold back the unfolded side, lap it over the same you did the first. All right, follow me. It, it's not gonna be a one-time process, but um, by doing it and doing it, you will gain experience. Now you turn this back the opposite way and fold again. We are looking for the shape of a boat, not, um, not a hat but right now as you go by you're gonna notice you're becoming you're having the shape of a hat at all times with different sizes now that's not bad that's one of your little technology there one of your little experience that's one of your little um, underwear process however now when you have this you're gonna turn it the opposite way and fold it like this again you're gonna over flop it all right you're gonna overlap it with the flaps. Make sure at all times you have this square. Once you have this square, it means you're on the right track. Now you're gonna go back now, the unfolded side, you're gonna lap it again. You're gonna do another lapping, which is uh, gonna be like this. Once you lap, you keep lapping, and you will find yourself. Now you could keep lapping as much as you want, um, at this point here, I could guarantee you we have a boat without the engine, but you want to, to have definitely an extreme visuality. You want an illusion of a boat um, with the engine, so you're gonna fold it back one more time. Same process, same way you did it the first time, you lap again. So you got, you end up with the same diamond. I'm not the diamond, but you, well, you could say diamond if you turn it crossway but it's square if you turn it straight. So now, you're gonna go back one more time, lap it, 
and this is gonna be the final process so basically you're lapping it like three four times all right now I'll show you a secret this is when you know you're done after lapping you open here with your thumb you can use your thumb you can use your finger but the thumb you have more control okay this is gonna be the bottom of the boat now remember we could continue the process by over folding it again but now at this stage here you have the shape of a boat if you should pull this one side here and you should pull the other side you're gonna have the shape of a boat now you could make this is we call a double engine you could call it the fuselage you could call this the deck where passengers <laughs> I said you know make yourself make an illusion but now if you want it I'll show you you could willfully um, continue on if you want to really continue this fun process but uh, it's going to be a smaller boat with a double engine all you're going to do is continue falling bend back you're going to have two of those two of the inside which is the fuselage or the engine or whatever you want to call it all right the cargo section and um, it's all about having fun now you're going to pull this both side i show you pull both side bah. this is it this is the side this is this illusion of a boat from a paper folks nice and easy um it's not going to be a one-time process uh, if you keep doing it over and over believe me folks you will get this done and that's the shape of a boat look at this folks it's the shape of a boat you could willfully you could put this in the water you could put it in water trust me it will sail um as a matter of fact i would really like to show you it in water whenever i get another chance i will show you how this sails in water as simple as this is right now it's done what you could do is basically um, take some water in a bowl in, in a in a bucket in a pan even go into the pool have fun when you're in the pool you put it in front of you and trust me this will sail it will keep sailing like a boat now we're built this is a boat illusion the illusion we built um, to make believe uh, it's a boat all you got to do remember the reason why it would not um sink folks when i tell you this it will float it's because we have an air pocket here this pocket here will maintain the air flow all right this will maintain an air flow so it keeps the paper up high above the water um, and of course paper no matter what um, if you take regular paper without any shapes, a flat piece of paper, throw it in the water, it will float for some time until it gets soaked in with that water. The water then becomes heavy, paper is very light. So that's a, a reason why it floats. At this point here, at the edges here, at the ends, you can make your names. Like me, I would put Samuel Vengasami or Jim Boy Sami. Those are my names too that I go with. Jim Boy Sami. <laughs> you make your name. Put it, uh, hey, the fly boat, the this boat, the that boat. Have fun with it or leave it alone. Just, hey, make this and do it. Um, later on, I'll show you how to make furnitures out of papers. All right? <laughs> you got it. Thank you for watching. Hey, this is Samuel Fengasami, Jim Boy Sami. Same. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>